Hello my friends, I hope you're having a lovely day, and in today's video we are playing Bubble Bobble for friends. But I'm playing alone. <laughs> for there are no friends here locally, because everyone is quarantining. Uh, quarantining, is that a word? <clears throat> so I'm playing alone, but that's okay. Because Bubble Bobble is, uh, in my opinion, fun whether you have one person. Uh, two people as it used to be, or uh, four people, as this game lets you do. Um, this is a brand new Bubble Bobble game, and to tell you the truth, the uh, distribution of this game has been really weird. <clears throat> uh, North America is the last region to get the game. came out, I want to say, in Europe first, and then moved over to Japan. Oh boy. Not all that long ago, um, but North America is just getting it now. <clears throat> Why was that done? You tell me. I don't know. Is there a bigger region, or is there a bigger uh, bubble bobble following over in Europe? <coughs> Excuse me. I honestly don't know. I thought bubble bobble. Uh, well, I mean, for old gamers like me, bubble bobble is a big deal, um, or a notable franchise, I should say. There's uh, plenty of my friends who still... Oh no, please. There's plenty of my friends who uh, love Bubble Bobble and uh, still have fond memories of the original and still like to play the original, to tell you the truth. I can't believe I got all that fruit before the level moved. <clears throat> and, uh... Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't, I, don't do the, I don't do the data. I don't do the research. I don't know why they decided to hold it back here. But the important thing is, is uh, uh, it's out. Uh, or it's soon out? I don't remember. And, uh, I wanted to cover the European release because <clears throat> that was the first and, uh, the PR people and, well, I don't know if I should get into specifics of that. Let's just say it couldn't happen. <laughs> but now I can cover this version, so that's what I'm doing. Uh, Bubble Bobble, I don't, there's certain NES games that, there's a new move for you, there's certain NES games that, um, it seemed like everybody played. Everybody had or rented at the time. <coughs> Excuse me. And there were certainly a whole bunch of games people didn't play, or a few, uh, you know, only a few people knew about and played. Oh, that was close. Um, but Bubble Bobble was one of those games that it seemed everybody played. Uh, and I just don't know why that is. I don't know what, I don't remember, uh, you know, any special coverage. I don't believe there was ever a commercial for the game. Maybe there's something going on in uh, Nintendo Power. I honestly don't remember that either. But somehow, Bubble Bobble was a game that everybody played. Um, maybe it has something to do with the game just being simple and enjoyable. I mean, yeah... Ah, damn it. You capture enemies in bubbles? Ride a bubble. <laughs> you capture enemies in bubbles and you pop them, and that's really all there is to it. It's not a really sophisticated game. Um, but that's what makes it fun. I have very fond memories of, uh, playing Bubble Bobble. Give me that tea. Uh, when I was a kid and growing up and, uh, later on into my older years and, um, when my fiancé was going to college, when we were of college age, a lot of kids were bringing their NESs to college with them because, you know, it was, that's, uh, that was what was nostalgic for us. And you would, uh, it's a good icebreaker. You're like, hey, uh, you're meeting new people. You might have a roommate you never, uh, met before or really talked to before you got into school and you're looking for something to do and you're like, hey, uh, you want to play some old school games and you play Bubble Bobble together. It's a bonding experience. <clears throat> so yeah, Bubble Bobble uh, while it may not be very notable nowadays, it, it's, uh, it means a lot to the NES generation. At least, uh, I think it does to the majority of the NES generation. Um, but yeah, I've been really looking forward to, uh, Oh, I made it. Oh, I knew I shouldn't have done it. I've been really looking forward to this because I, I appreciate that it upgrades the graphics, um... 
but it doesn't really try to mess with the, damn it, I wanted that letter, the core mechanics really all that much. They put a, a few twists on there that I don't think uh, really mess with what makes Bubble Bobble fun. Like you can get uh, things to level up your abilities, like I'm using something now that makes my bubbles shoot further than they do normally. And uh, I guess I can continue to level that up and you unlock other abilities too. So I don't know how game-breaking the abilities get, but, you know, the core mechanics are still there. The only thing that uh, irks me a little bit, and this could be something that might be, uh, you might be able to change. Can I jump through this? Yeah. In the options, I don't know. I haven't looked. Oh, this is going to be one of those levels. Um, when you go to bounce on a bubble, one of the hardest things to do in the original Bubble Bobble was bounce on a bubble. It was just really... You had to... It, there was a... There was an... <coughs> uh, I was going to say an art. I guess. Sure, there's an art to it. Uh, there was a skill to it. You had to get the timing right and hit the hit jump at the right time. And uh, you, usually when you were playing with a second player, you would spend a lot of time, like, um, blowing bubble after bubble after bubble up against the wall so your friend could potentially jump on them and reach the top of a, of a platform. And get the enemies before the uh, the evil whale came along to take you out. But in this version, they have removed that. Like I said, I don't know if it's an option that uh, you can turn on. But literally all you do is jump on the bubble. Like I'm not hitting any... Ooh, I'm not hitting any buttons. Uh, let me... I'm not hitting any buttons now. I'm just standing on it. Uh, your character will automatically bounce off the bubble. So that's really honestly... Ooh. No, no, no. A huge change because it was that mechanic that led to uh, a lot of issues for people damn it so stupid I should have died there um, yeah it led to a lot of trouble for people because they just couldn't seem to nail that so I guess that's uh, once you figured it out like once you actually s took the time to figure out how to do it and what made it work then uh, you know you could reliably reproduce it um, but there were some people who never got that, and obviously, that's why they changed it for this one. Um, now you just bounce off them automatically. Uh, you can hold the jump button, and you will bounce even higher. But uh, yeah, it's very simplified. And uh, I am disappointed to see that, but, you know, it, it's not a game breaker. Also, like I said, if you can... I mean, I'm going to take a look in the options really quick. I don't know if I'll be able to access options... Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. Doesn't look well. Hmm. No. Yeah. It doesn't look like you can turn that off. Just from a quick glance. Again, I could be wrong. Which, for a longtime Bubble Bobble fan, is disappointing. But it doesn't ruin the game. It just, you know, it makes it a little easier. But you know, it's give and take because while you are, uh, while you uh, don't have to use the same skill to jump on bubbles. Uh, benefit of this version is not only is it brand new but you also can play with four players which is very welcome uh, it's always been a two-player affair unless you know I haven't played or maybe I have played all the spin-offs and I might just be forgetting but I think most of them oh boy are uh, two-player affairs there might be a four-player one in there somewhere for all I know but uh, yeah, I remember, especially Classic Bubble Bobble is a two-player affair, so being able to throw in two more characters is really nice. I like that. Um, no, no, no. Um, and it's just, uh, it feels good. It feels like Bubble Bobble, which is good. They didn't stray too far from what Bubble Bobble is. And I also like, um, in the traditional Bubble, in the Classic Bubble Bobble, stages were the same size as in... Uh, you know, you had one square room, and they played with that. They all, all the level designs were in that same square size. But here, uh, while you're in a, you know, a square for all this stuff, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this guy. Oh, hit him with bubbles. <laughs> I could have guessed that. Um, while all the levels are in the same, like, square size, some are bigger or smaller, as you'll probably notice as I was playing. Uh, I believe this is Bub. Bub was sometimes smaller than usual. And sometimes bigger. Oh, I gotta... Is he hanging out in the background? Oh, boy. So, yeah, they play with this scale, which I appreciate. Oh, dear. 
Uh, because then you have larger levels to explore. I wonder if I'm supposed to shoot him. Oh, oh boy, helps if I aim correctly. Oh, he just tuckered himself out. Can I just sit here? Yeah. I, uh, oh, okay, one and done. <laughs> oh, maybe not, maybe not. Oh, yeah, that's a giant watermelon. One and done. Uh, Bubble Bobble's final boss back in the day uh, was, a, was a challenge because it was really hectic. Uh, and you throw in another player and it was just crazy. But I liked it for that. So maybe we'll get to that. See? So you get things like this. The Thunder Bubble set, which I'm sure blow bubbles that attack in a horizontal line when burst. Uh, so that was something that was kind of horizontal line when burst. It doesn't say anything about electricity, but there were bubbles in the old Bubble Bobble that would uh, have lightning bolts in them, and when you cracked them, they would shoot the lightning bolts, and that's how you would fight uh, the final boss at the end, actually. Uh, so as you can see, you go through theme levels. It looks like there's five here. That was the second world. Uh, yeah. Can I? Oh, I, I also wanted to show you this real quick. This will be how I end the video. If you are someone like me, uh, let's see, add credit, who loves the original Bubble Bobble, it's in here. Uh, this is not the NES version, though. No. This is the arcade version, so it is something a little different. It looks a little bit better than the, uh, than the, whoops, than the NES version. And the same song is there. The same song was in the first whole world of th this Bubble Bobble for Friends game as well. But uh, the original Bubble Bobble has the same song pretty much the whole time. Uh, but yeah, it sounds a little bit better than the NES version. So it's, it's very cool that uh, Bubble Bobble fans not only get a brand new game, but they get the classic as well. Um, all, albeit the arcade version. So that's something a little bit different. Because I've played through the NES version countless times, but I have not played through the arcade version. So if you're Bubble Bobble nerd like me, <laughs> I, admittedly, I really love Bubble Bobble. Uh, you have a lot of content to enjoy. Oh, no, you don't. Ah, damn it. Played Bubble Bobble a million times and I still die. Uh, so that's Bubble Bobble for friends. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm excited to play with friends. And uh, hopefully I'll be able to see them in real life sometime in a not too distant future. But uh, you're my friends for today. You're my friends always. But uh, I wanted to show you the game. And that's what I did. So thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. Oh, my God. Uh, oh, also, a huge thank you to those of you who support me on Patreon. I really appreciate that as well. Helps me do things like this, the uh, videos and the podcast, and run the website and do social media, all that good stuff. So, again, thank you to those who support me over there. You going to move, dude? We got problems, dude. We got problems. Uh, if you want to learn, if you want to learn more about the Patreon, which is just a dollar, you can check out a link in the description below. But for today, that is it. As long as I have something interesting to show you, I will be back uh, tomorrow. So until then, have a lovely day and a lovely evening, and I'll see you in a few short hours.